Alright. Hello my fellow guardians, it's Apocalyptic Fury. Today I'll be showing you a build um, with the boots of the assembler. So first you wanna have um the exotic of course, you want Lumina because of the synergy. Um you're gonna want the Shade Binder subclass and Bleak Watcher, which is our turret, it came back after the game breaking bug was fixed where you could use it to basically have an infinite super. So, you're going to want Void Gauntlets, and you probably want to get bolt, um, bolstering, bolstering Detonation. So, when your grenade hits enemies, you see what I'm saying, you get your class ability back. So, Bleak Watcher, the turret keeps shooting, right? So, you're going to keep getting your energy back for your rift. And that's the boost of the assembler perk, in case you didn't know what that does. So... Putting all those things together, if you do well in Nightfalls, you may not be able to use bolstering detonation because you have to use two um, mods to specialize against champions. But I'd suggest because you want to have Lumina, you want to have um, overloading, you know, overload hand cannon if the appropriate Nightfall calls for it. And in this case, it does. There are overload champions, and overload hand cannon is a thing. So. I have that on, but I also have anti-barrier auto rifle with the gnawing hunger. But if you if you want to play a full support role and just throw down turrets and put your rift down the boots of assembler with a healing rift, so you're healing your teammates, you're healing yourself, and the turret is shooting enemies and keeping them frozen. You also want to you know use your lumina to heal heal your teammates on occasion. Now this is my first time doing this, so I'm not perfect. I might even miss some shots or whatever, you know but you get an idea of how this build is supposed to work now it could probably also be used in pvp maybe in 3v3s because in 6v6 you're just gonna get ran over by shotguns and fusion rifles so i assume my teammates had a, had a full turret builds so we're just shooting you know throwing out a lot of turrets and this was a lot of fun this this nightfall run was a lot of fun because look how many turrets are being thrown down this is extremely fun. Look, that, that guy can't even fucking move. Look at this dude. <laughs> he can't even move. That's tough. You see, I got another rift there. And the synergy continues. Now, if I have bolstering detonation I and I replaced um, the auto rifle barrier, the, the anti-barrier auto rifle, and let my teammates break the barriers instead, because, you know, I'm basically playing a support role, keeping the enemies frozen. And keeping my rift up and sending out a healing particles for them. Um, then you'll have noticed that my rift comes up extremely fast, or at least it should, because it says dealing damage with a grenade brings back your uh, class ability. Now we all died, I guess, because I don't know. I'm not gonna blame it on anybody. I guess folk wasn't just paying. We just weren't paying attention, I guess, and I. I was too amazed by how well this build synergizes, and I lost uh, attention span. And they probably lost attention span as well. So, and that guy was probably half AFK. So that's probably why we all died there. So don't mind that. It is what I ain't taking out the video because you know I don't want to upload fake shit. But you get the point. But um, yeah. So you basically see how this is supposed to work. So you throw down the turret, you throw down the healing rift. You kill you, you kill the enemies with Lumina. You send out the little healing particles. And you just keep going from there. Now you want to have max recovery and max discipline, ideally. You know, because you want to actually get your turret back faster. And you want to get your rift back faster. As fast as possible. So that you can keep doing this. So, you know, this is a good build, especially if you know your teammates are going to be really strong. Because this Nightfall isn't that difficult. You know, at least the regular one where you have to match make. I'm a solo player, so I don't really have anyone to play with. Well, I have one person to play with, but one person isn't, you know, two people, a duo isn't going to complete every activity. I can't do raids. I can't do Grandmasters when they come out. Stuff like that. There's a lot of content I miss out on because... I'm damn near a solo player, and and most at most I'm a duo player, so there's not much I can do about that. But um, besides the point, 
this is the build um if you want to continue watching the rest of the nightfall you can just to see how the, the run went but that's just a general idea of how this build is supposed to work so hope you guys enjoy the video if you continue watching after this if not you know try this build again it's lumina with boots of the assembler which is already discovered just like how you have you have you have um thorn and what's it called necrotic grip they synergize lumina and boots of the assembler synergize so whatever this thing is where youtube is calling it a glitch i don't think it's a glitch it's a synergy it's not a glitch it's a synergy bungie did this on purpose because remember thorn is the dark hand cannon lumina is the light hand cannon you see what i'm saying so boots of the assembler is the light the, the, the light exotic armor for the warlock that goes with the light hand cannon and thorn is the dark exotic hand cannon that goes with the dark gauntlets that both have the hive poison effect so this is a synergy so yeah and it's, it's very helpful if you don't want to be like a full support role where you're using um well of radiance you know because people are always begging for wells you know so if you don't want to be that warlock and you still want to have some type of use to your team or you still want to be dangerous in a way and still have some fun use shade binder instead use the bleak watcher bolstering detonation meaning you have to have void gauntlets that's if you don't want to use anti-barrier auto rifle and you rather let your teammates break barriers but you want to use overload um hand cannon shots because you're going to be using lumina for the synergy so you're going to end up using that anyway <clears throat> yeah so this is a very unique build i'm pretty sure someone discovered this already and my channel's small so i won't expect a lot of people to see this but whoever does see it you know i hope you try this out tell your friends you know hopefully like and subscribe if you enjoyed um you know the usual you see how this just works it works really well yep it sliced him up see i don't really care about champion kills that much as i'm doing this because you know we're just trying to get nightfall done everybody wants hung jury he's a famous goddamn scout rifle from the first game and the two perks in my opinion that you want to look for most because this one is unique you know in comparison to other scout rifles and it's a favorite from d1 you want to either get firefly which they added back in the game for some of the newer weapons or some of the raid weapons as well as the hung jury so firefly basically if you play a d1 you get a headshot kill it causes enemies to explode with solar damage hence the name firefly but this is for a kinetic weapon hung jury is kinetic so y'all know how, how firefly works dragonfly is the energy weapon version where whatever element that weapon is they'll explode in that energy when you kill them with a precision kill when you get a precision kill that was redundant kill precision kill um with firefly you get a you get a precision kill and they will always blow up with solar damage but it's on a kinetic weapon not only will you get a solar explosion on a on a precision kill but you will also get a faster reload time after the kill so it's almost like a combination of um dragonfly but it's always solar and it's on a kinetic weapon instead of energy and outlaw in a way at the same time so firefly is a very versatile perk yes this is an on kill perk you see what i'm saying and some people prefer to have perks that always work but keep in mind even in raids you're going to be clearing ads you're going to be clearing ads or killing enemy guardians or whatever in every game mode you always have to kill something so do not be discouraged to use kill activated perks you see what I'm saying? Rampage, kill clip, firefly on precision kills, things like that. Do not be discouraged to use on kill perks. Because you have to kill something. Something always has to be killed in this game. Bosses are the low bulk of most of your enemies. A lot of enemies are going to be enemy champions in high end content and things like that. And no matter what, you're going to have to do high damage regardless. Something has to die. So just keep that in mind so yeah um 
that's that's really all that has to be said pretty much i'm not gonna ramble on about shit that i really don't have to say much but um yeah this is probably one of the most fun builds i've ever used in a nightfall because you could just you know synergize everything i call this the endless entity build it's gonna be in the title um yeah that's pretty much it so we're gonna get we're gonna head in the boss room and it's gonna be a wrap and by the way after this run or a couple runs after this i ended up getting a subsistence firefly roll i didn't try it in crucible yet you know i might i might hit up my friend my duo friend on some batman and robin shit well i can't say batman and robin because he's not necessarily a sidekick you know you, you kill hand in hand but you, you know what I mean. You, 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 I, don't, I don't know. You you know what I mean. Basically, we're a duo. We whoop niggas' ass. We do what we gotta do. But, yeah. You go in Crucible and probably... It probably allowed me to test out my Subsistence Firefly roll. Now, those are two kill-activated perks. But, Subsistence got buffed. It no longer reduces your maximum ammo maximum reserves and shit so you can actually get kills and get bullets back for getting kills pair that with firefly in my opinion it's actually pretty damn good so you know and it's a precision frame so it shouldn't be hard to kill with in crucible you know so you just get your headshots it kills someone and if you're wondering just like ace of spades yes a firefly hung jury can work with chromatic fire whatever subclass you use i tried it last night after this and i got some headshots it looks beautiful it doesn't exp it does a solar explosion first and then a void explosion because i like i like um i main void walker and i secondarily play shade binder so it just looks nice when you put on chromatic fire now chromatic fire does not work with stasis unfortunately they wanted to keep that tied to the light subclasses so, but stasis has its own little ice effect explosions anyway. So you basically be doing solar explosions with ice, you know, some Todoroki shit. But with void, you when you do the um, headshot explosions, you know, you be getting solar explosions and void explosions. So it goes like solar void. It does it back to back. It does like solar explosion and void explosion with chromatic fire. So if you have you know a storm caller, then it'll be solar arc, you know. And if you have solar, it's gonna be solar solar. So it's gonna look really cool. So yeah, but you all get the point. This is all that had to happen. Throw down turret, shoot shit. And by the way, for you people who say that Bleak Watcher is trash in PvP, it's not. You know, you just have to play around it. Don't let the turret. I'm, I'm gonna put it this way: Don't let the Bleak Watcher turret do the work for you. You do the work with the turret. Work with the turret. What I mean by that is when you put down the turret from Bleak Watcher in PvP, fight around it. Use it as a zoner and something that can locate the enemies. Because you know the turret turns to go like, oh shit, that motherfucker right there in the corner coming around the corner. You see what I'm saying? And if you have a good corner and the map is good, or you know you place it in the right place on the map, you can quite literally get a position to where the turret will fend for you. But now you're going to have to still turn around and make sure you follow up. Because while slow may be OP, and it can prevent you from using mo uh, mobile abilities such as Blink, Icarus Dash, you know, which they recently secretly added in without telling us. So now, you know, slow is stronger. So, but um, this is a little extra footage. Since I had a little left to say, I guess, about the Bleak Watcher turret. So yeah i basically me and my duo partner you know my bro we was whooping motherfuckers ass we was fighting a full clan and um i might i might put post that later but we was fighting a full clan and basically what happened was they were playing really cheesy they had a whole bunch of shotguns you know team shooting the usual and i was using the bleat watcher turret and i i got 11 defeats against them and i had an 11.0 an 11.0 kd against a full goddamn clan 
and they left the queue. They didn't want to fight against us again because I held my position so well. And for the most part, I was there by myself. But my, my bro came in at certain points and he attacked some of them that was trying to flank me because they were all trying to get me at one point. All of them were flying at me with shotguns. It was, it was, a, it was a, a zoo with the ape fest. It was just terrible. So, um, yeah, Bleak Watcher is really good. And you see what I did there? You see what I did there? Do not sleep on the Glacier Grenade for Warlocks. Just because we can't shatter crystals does not mean we cannot use that. The Glacier Grenade, if it traps people, it lasts longer than the Cold Snap duration. But that's if you land it. But anyway. Yeah, so also, if you see what I'm doing, I finally, after hours and hours of my dual partner helping me out, you know, in Crucible to farm this god roll. Well, it's a god roll in terms of perks. The full thing probably isn't a god roll, but I have rapid hit kill clip on the survivor's epitaph, which is the new 180 hand cannon um, from Crucible. The drops from Crucible. So, um, I personally love this hand cannon. I masterworked it later on. It's not masterworked in this video, but I masterworked it later on. I put on a fitting aspect for the guaranteed quick reload. You know, and the quick aim and all that other good stuff. I'm pairing it with the um, the Keening sidearm. I'm a sidearm guy. I like sidearms. I use fusions from time to time. Long time ago, I used slug shotguns. And I used mind benders before for fun. But I'm not really a shotgun player. And I use fusion rifles on occasion. I mean, because they're fun. But when the whole enemy team is spamming fusion rifles the whole time, it kind of becomes unfun. Or even if it's one guy, like I was facing this hunter this one match that was using Wizened Rebuke, and he was just absolutely mapping me, one shot at me every time he saw me, and I was just like, bruh, like it was getting on my nerves. But he had a god roll, and he knew when to pace his shots, so it is what it is. I, I can't complain. I'm not going to say, you know, I don't like hunters because of the triple jump stompy abuse. You can't hit them, but they can hit you. But we're on console, you know, on PS4. So, you know, it's really annoying to deal with on console. Because you don't have the FOV and the, you know, other shit. On top of that, for some reason, lately, my internet hasn't been acting the best. Now, my internet has never been the best in the first place. But it usually doesn't lag this consistently and this badly. But for some reason, recently, he's been doing that. So, it's not much I could do about that. So, sometimes, some of my shots and some trades that I should be winning, I lose. Simply because my internet... You know, and there's nothing I could do there. Okay, he got me to hung jury. It is what it is. But, um... I've been using Empowering Rift a little bit lately as well. So because of that, I might actually try a Lunar Faction build on these days with this hand cannon. Because the range of this hand cannon is pretty damn poor. Especially on console. Because, you know, PC has a better range advantage. Because they have, it's like they have built-in stability in their goddamn guns. Even though they got toned down a bit, they still have a higher advantage. Goodbye, Dawnblade. Is he, is he a daybreak? I thought that was an enemy arc staff because how aggressive he's swinging his, his weapon, his um staff, his electrical staff, his double saber of electricity. Um, yeah, so that shit was crazy. Okay, he absolutely baked him, but um. Okay, so, yeah. I fucked up. I threw that shit a little too far. That was on me. It is what it is. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I had some yesterday when I was playing. Lately, I've been inconsistent with my um, crucible. My crucible play. Like, certain games, I'll pop off and go ham. Like, when we fought a full clan, I had an 11.0. My friend had 35 kills the match prior when we first encountered the clan, and I only had 24 kills. He was using Crimson, so he was just going off, just, you know, killing him. Okay, I got a double smack there. That was nice. And yeah, I was using, um, I think I was using this hand cannon. I can't remember what I was using. No, I don't think I had it yet. I can't remember what gun I was using. I think I was using the, um, the farewell god roll. I had range finder and, um, multi-kill clip. But, uh, yeah, he was popping off with his crimson. He he got 35 kills the first time we encountered the clan. But 
The second match, I guess they wanted a rematch. Because we beat them the first time, I believe. And this time, we won by a blowout. And it was mostly because I basically never died. Because I placed my Bleak Watcher in the right place. And I held down that base where my dual partner helped me. You know, when there was too many trying to flank me. And I was able to stay alive. And I ended up getting 11 kills and 11.0. I died once, but it basically got negated because I got so many kills without dying. And it ended up being an 11.0 KD. Like I said, I might show the match. Hopefully, PlayStation didn't cut out none of the footage. But, um, yeah, it was a really fun match. It was a fun experience, even though they were annoying to go against with all the team shooting and shotgun spamming. But we got through it. So, yeah, Survivor's Epitaph, if you don't have one, I suggest you do. Make sure that shit has kill clip. Make sure that shit has kill clip. See, he had Firefly on his hung jury. I have that now, but at the time, I didn't have it. But, um, yeah, so. I'm gonna try that in Crucible as well. I'm gonna have my hung jury and, uh, with Firefly. And I might actually try it with Chromatic Fire. This guy tried to bake my shit. And he somehow killed me. Hung jury is just disgusting. Nothing I could have done there. Hung jury is fucking nasty. But, I mean... I don't really care that he's getting his kills. He's using bottom tree. Um, if you notice, he's using bottom tree. Um, Dawn blade. Because if he's using top tree, he Icarus dashed and threw out the melee to slash your fire. He's using bottom tree. You can tell. You know, kudos to this guy. I don't hate him. You know, he's using a fusion, so he's of course he's using uh, null composure, so of course he's gonna get quick kills. And he has a hung jury of Firefly. So you know this guy is going to be going off. You know, so it is what it is. Dude just had a good game. Had high momentum. Good mojo. I was just having a casual fun game this match. I wasn't playing the way I played when we fought that clan. You know, we fought that clan. I was like on, I was on tippy toes, motherfucker. I was like jumping in the air, making sure no shotgunner next to me. I was doing extra shit when we fought that clan because they were trying so hard. This match, you see, I just casually jumped in here and froze him and shattered him. I'm just not really trying. Just having fun. Trying to enjoy this hand cannon. But, um, yeah. So, that's some extra footage. I guess that was two and one. But, I mean, if this video was too long, just let me know. I'll probably separate the, um, the thing and probably say when they start. When, the, when this part starts with the Crucible play. That's if y'all mind it. If y'all don't mind this being 26 minutes. Because I usually play Shadow of War. And usually it's only excusable when I play Shadow of War. That's my main game. But um, this one is a bit longer. Because I just wanted to discuss a bit more about the Bleak Watcher. And this hand cannon is pretty damn good. Yeah, once you get kill clip on this thing, it's basically Luna's Howl or Not Forgotten. Whichever one you think about. Now, that guy got shafted. He didn't even deserve that. He was already slowed by the Hunter Super, and I just wanted to add to his torment. <laughs> Teabagging me, toxic. Yeah. I know I didn't do all that great this game, but, you know, I was... Not only was I lagging from time to time in this match, because like I said, I don't know what the hell my internet's been doing lately. But I've also haven't been pacing my shots well enough. So it is what it is. But oh shit. And he almost smoked. You see, now, okay, so you, are you Todoroki? I don't know where that ice came from, but he froze my ass somehow. Or someone in the back was back there and froze me. I don't know who froze me, but that actually looked pretty cool. I'm not even going to lie. That actually looked pretty cool. See? You see? I'm lagging so bad. Am I might see? See? Lagging so bad. I'm pretty sure he could have died there, but lag. I think I could have done there. Yeah, that weapon is retarded. No composure. That weapon is crazy. But we still won anyway. Warlock, you did your best, but it wasn't enough. Good games though.
And just kill that guy at the end just to be petty. <laughs> oh, come on, bro. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. So that, that's the end of that. And surprisingly, I was on the top of the scoreboard. I don't know how. I was lagging and missing a lot of shots. And we're going to inspect this dude just to show you that he actually was doing pretty good. His stats are decent. No composure. Weapon is disgusting. Shit's crazy. Good job, dude. You did good. You used going in. And check this. Watch this shit. Look at this motherfucker. I applaud you, dude. <laughs> no top tree. This dude is using bottom tree. Dawn blade. Respect. And look, Firefly. You see? I can't wait to, you know, I can't wait to uh put mine to use in Crucible because Firefly is really nice. Everyone misses it from D1. You know. So yeah, that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um again I was using um rapid hit kill clip survivor's epitaph. If I didn't show it in this footage I apologize, but that's what I had. Kill clip um I mean rapid hit kill clip. So yeah, I'm gonna switch this shit right back to uh gold just to fit my shit. I don't know why I had it at that color, the chrome color. There it is. There it is. Alright. Yeah, have a good one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.